punished so much for spending time sharing with my students about a very interesting topic about the cultural differences affecting international business. And to where I already introduced that, I had the chance to study with Anush uh, in the master program, and he has a lot of experience in uh, international business. And I think that the sharing today will be like very useful for us. So Anush, please. Just uh, can you give me the sharing right so that I can I can share my screen and all. Okay, just wait uh, for a second. So uh, I will promote you to be a presenter today. Okay, now you can share the slide. Okay. Let, let me check. I'm sharing my slides with all of you. <clears throat> Screen share. Okay. Sharing uh, my screen. Okay. So is my profile visible to you all? <clears throat> is my profile visible to you all? Hello? Am I audible? Am I audible? Am I audible? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Is, is my profile visible to you all? Yes. Okay. So uh, let, let me give you a quick introduction about myself. Uh, Anuj Kumar working as assistant professor at APJ School of Management, Dwarka, Delhi. And uh, about uh, my education uh, uh, prior to that i was working with bharti vidya Peet, new delhi india and about my education i met my at the university college dublin doing my masters in international business and uh, this is in 2013-14 i've done it prior to that i was with bharti vidya Peet uh, and done my mba currently pursuing my phd in the topic of technology adoption in the in smes small medium enterprises <clears throat> uh, prior to that i've done my engineering at all so uh, this is this is a quick introduction about me let me take you to the slides presentation so the topic for today as is is my slides visible yep yes okay so the topic for today is like cultural differences affecting international business how the cultural differences is affecting the international uh, business so any any input any one of you want to break the ice what comes to your mind when when you uh, think about you know cultural differences any input from your side any one of you what you think how how cultural differences are affecting anyone okay, okay. anyone wants to say anything or should i okay I guess uh, uh, no one wants to say anything. Anyways, okay. So uh, let can we can hear you. Yeah, you can't hear me. Uh, yeah, just keep sharing. We okay. would like to hear you more. Okay, okay. I'm just uh, sharing once again because I just uh, taking one one click for my college. So that's why. <laughs> I'll just waiting for a click. Uh, one minute. Uh, okay. okay, we will do it later. So I'm just sharing again.
okay so the first uh, uh, and foremost case which which comes to my mind is uh, the entry of starbucks in china as as you can see in in my slide also there are two links have been given why starbucks succeed in china we will we will go to the uh, these two news links and we will uh, explore how how the cultural differences are affecting the international business then another uh, link is talking about when coffee enters the tea culture learning from starbucks success in china these are the two links which i have imbibed in my slide so if we go on these links one link is this why starbucks succeed in china another one is this one okay so everyone knows like uh, what type of culture is in china like when when starbucks uh, uh, conquered the market of china uh, china mainly they have uh, they are a tea drinking nation and uh, prior to starbucks many many of the you know uh, coffee sellers were failed to uh, to conquer the market of china mainly why because because of the cultural differences okay the people uh, in usa uk they, they have a culture of uh, coffee and all but but the people in asian countries like uh, you, you talk about china you talk about india so people mainly when when a person get up early in the morning they prefer tea we are tea drinking nation so here is the, here is the here is the cultural difference the taste and preferences so uh, prior to, it's not like the star uh, prior to starbucks no one uh, tried to conquer the market of china there were uh, you know uh, many players who tried to conquer the market of china but they were not able to because what they were doing they were uh, they were trying to sell the same thing what what they were selling in the other countries now how cultural differences uh, play its role the cultural differences play its role here how much you are adaptable to to another country if we if we have a we have a quotation you know uh, we have a saying think uh, think global act local in actual starbucks has applied that thing in china when when they entered in the market of china you know you know, what they have done what they have done differently as compared to others they you know they 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 studied the market of china and they, they were ready that in the initial 2 years 3 years they will not uh, be able to succeed they they entered in china with with a with a long term orientation they were ready to adapt now why i am saying it, like the second link when coffee and the tea culture what what happens so if if we check this news what what it is saying starbucks thinks differently when you when you uh, read this paragraph like uh, chinese people have a strong tea drinking tradition that's why many people were skeptical at first that starbucks can uh, break uh, can break through the chinese great wall they were skeptical about the success of starbucks although with all skepticism going around starbucks continued their mission to get into the chinese market starbucks starts by studying the chinese middle class try to introduce western uh, coffee experience where people could meet their friends by drinking their favorite beverages starbucks introduced uh, the trend that drinking coffee after having a meal is much better for your digestion becoming a global brand prior prior entering uh, good brand positioning par uh, partnering with locals lastly starbucks partner with three regional players as a part of expansion plan china is not a homogenous market the culture and practice in northern part of china are very different from the eastern part of china so they they have done so, uh, certain type of collaboration at the same time uh, the strategy where, where i see uh, you know starbucks differed from others they they have a strong research at the same time they 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 introduced tea flavored coffee in china they they changed their product category as per the culture of china at the same time if if you see the barista they they have hired in china they 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 are all from chinese uh, you know uh, chinese nations they 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 got this knowledge that if if you have to succeed you have to show them that you are one of them so they uh, the barista was from uh, you know uh, china at the same time the sitting spaces 
this, there there is no sitting space when when you talk about USA, UK, Starbucks. People are uh, standing in a queue. They are uh, taking their cup of coffee, mug of coffee, and they are going to their office. But but in Asian countries, the the uh, the culture is different. When when we enjoy our meal, when we enjoy our coffee or a cup of uh, tea, we want to socialize. We want to sit. We want to uh, you know exchange things. So they have provided those many sitting spaces with with a uh, with a, one can uh, recharge their mobile phones, recharge their laptops and all to so socialize them. So how how Starbucks changed its approach? There was no sitting space in UK USA, and they have provided ample sitting space in in China. And and in those uh, uh, Starbucks cafes, they have they have paintings of Chinese uh, uh, Chinese uh, nationals only. So, so that the whosoever custom, customer is coming, they will feel like okay, uh, Starbucks is one of one of them. So that's what actually is, and they also change their product category. Okay, we will go with the tea flavored coffee. Later on, uh, they they also uh, you know communicated uh, the uh, the cust uh, the consumers about the benefits of coffee and all. But firstly, they have adopted themselves. So this is the same reason why why many of the market players were failed to uh, failed to enter in China because of cultural differences, and this is the same reason because Starbucks uh, actually adapted itself to those cultural differences, so they were succeed in uh, doing business in China. Now another another uh, you know case which which we which we can discuss is like have you heard this brand name McDonald's? Is my screen visible? Have you heard this name, McDonald's? Yes, yes, we heard it. Okay, I guess every one of you once in your life have enjoyed the meal. Uh, if if I'm not wrong, at McDonald's, they are they are selling burgers. They are selling you know uh, different different type of stuff here. So in in India, they have uh, non vegetarian burgers. They have vegetarian burger. They have macalu tikki, and uh, at the same time, they have uh, you know some some South Indian dosa. Uh, now, now, recently they have introduced like one two years ago, uh, dosa uh, type. You know, South Indian burger. At the same time, they have puffs and all. So, so when Magdi entered in India, what what happened? Magdi entered in India again. I'm 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 telling you how how culture difference plays uh, play an important role. When Magdi entered in India, they faced uh, outrage in India. I'm talking about like 2001, nearly 2002, because because they were uh, selling uh, beef burger and all. And again, when when you are entering in a country like India, where religious sentiments are are high, India India is a country with a with a maximum uh, population coming from Hindu religion, and and uh, they they worship the cow. So, for, so when when Magdi entered in India with with that same type of uh, product which which they were selling in UK USA, they faced outrage. They faced the uh, uh, you know re uh, religious uh, uh, frustration and all all those things which which because the people were not liking that thing. It it was it uh, it was not appreciated in our culture. Initially, ma many uh, many of uh, their outlets were were bamboozled. By, by by the by the political parties so so what was the learning how how magdi was so successful brand in in indian market and it's still it is going on as as one of the one of the you know uh, successful one of the uh, favorite brand for for uh, for uh, for people of india for uh, mainly for youngsters why how how this turnaround happened? <clears throat> how like this link is also saying how MACD conquered India. So if if I if I if I uh, point out certain things, the first thing again change in approach. MACD change its approach. They have introduced wedge burger in Indian market. Okay, certain addition in their products category. They they have introduced a product called Mac Alu Tikki. 
it's it's a, a stuffing of potato only aloo tikki burger and and that aloo tikki burger they, they have also changed the pricing if, if, if i say in indian rupees uh, sometime uh, uh, like uh, 10 15 years ago they were selling it like it, it like uh, at, at a cost of rupees 20 as per indian currency very very low cost so so they made their product approachable they changed their approach as per the uh, as per the uh, as per the you know as per the consumers they understood the purchasing power and they understood their target audience their target audience were the were the students going in colleges at the same time uh, the the professional who are just new to the job so uh, they analyzed the market very well and uh, they thought about it okay we will keep the pricing that much so that everyone can afford it first they changed their product category understood the cultural difference okay in india people will not like your beef burger so so they 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 didn't uh, sell it here they're just selling non veg burger chicken and all as they they have introduced a completely a new category now uh, as i said you like uh, two years ago or so one or two years ago they have introduced a south indian dosa burger in india that's that's only in india because because south indian have this dish dosa and all so they they haven't uh, they they have tapped that market again it's it's an example thing to global act local and you what what you are learning from your cultural differences again it is an example to to you know to uh, to uh, what you can say two major brands starbucks and mcdees and both the brands were very successful in their in their uh, in their uh, in their backyard but they have to change themselves their approach their pricing their product category because of the cultural differences so when when you enter from developed country to developing country it's not that that uh, your your uh, journey is so easy or is it a cake walk similarly if you go from a developing country for a business to uh, to do business in a developed country and then also the cultural differences play its own role in in my another slide i'm all discussing a very famous model with all of you okay is this model visible to you all Offsteed, okay. So uh, 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 let me take you directly to this model site and to discuss one more thing. In this, we can compare one more country. This is the advantage of online classes, which I see that any time I can click anything and can go on the site. If I go there. national culture one of street culture damage comparison india China, USA, okay. so here uh, if you if you can see it like here is a comparison of four countries and uh, I hope uh, your instructor have told you about this model or communicated you about this model. This is a very important model when you when you talk about cultural differences of steeds uh, cultural uh, dimensions like there are the six dimension which talk about power distance power distance how the senior but what, what is the uh, you know uh, the sense of uh, uh, command uh, what type of command the seniors and juniors are following uh, uh, is it uh, more power in the hand of senior official or is it a participative approach what what type of approach is it 
individualism and collectivism whether a country the person of a country is taking individualistic based decision or or uh, they are collectively asking their family members their friends and all then there is a all these uh, factors have been uh, defined here like masculinity and all 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 these factors uncertainty avoidance long term orientation like uh, how much how much time you take in interesting or believing another person before giving business you 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 take your time to understand another individual to understand uh, the behavior and all are uh, are you long term oriented person or a short term oriented person so if we if we see this comparison of of four countries china india vietnam united states so china is at uh, power distance 80 india 77 USA 40 and uh, Vietnam 70 so nearly like India China Vietnam have nearly the same uh, type of culture when you when you talk about power distance okay seniors have have a lot of say there's a if if i say the chain of command is like top bottom the instructions coming from top and bottom is following it up when when you say about the USA the USA score is only 40 it means it's it's like bottom up approach or or you can say participative approach it's not like too much of uh, power distance between seniors and juniors and like here we we have that culture we we respect our elders and all uh, in in companies we we go as per our bosses so this is if if a person from uh, some other country like usa uk will come to countries like china india or vietnam they will face uh, uh, you know a large power distance like if i also take united kingdom you can only select four countries okay so uh, united kingdom also has a, a power distance at, at a lower side when you talk about individualism okay usa is leading 91 india china and vietnam all are like 20 48 20 again they are collectivist cult, uh, country no uh, the if the score is 48 on individualism it means the score is 52 on collectivism and china and vietnam are similar 2020 it means like if if i say if i ask you if you do any course any masters or if you do any shopping you you always uh, you know talk to or ask your family members your friends your relatives if you buy anything if you if you uh, at the same time uh, if you are doing it any investment if if you are uh, uh, funding for your education you always take decision in collective manner so again there is a cultural difference if uh, if, you, if you are seeing the score of usa it's 91 on individualism scale so they are a different country they believe in individualistic based decision they don't want to ask everyone then there is a masculinity masculinity score is 62 for usa but uh, for india china uh, but india china is like 66 56 so again they are masculine uh, masculine uh, oriented uh, person but vietnam is 40 so it's it's feminine values how how a culture is driven a culture driven by masculinity it means a culture driven by power power money and all all those things if a culture driven by feminine feminine values it means it driven by love affection so so vietnam is showing a score of 60 for feminine values because the masculinity is only 40 it means a culture driven by love uh, affection and all those things money and power those things doesn't matter that much and uh, similarly there is a long term orientation if you see china is a long term oriented country 87 score they take uh, you know uh, very very much time to trust a someone that's why we say chinese are slow negotiators relationship building take time with with chinese similarly if if you see uh, the score of uh, usa on uh, long term orientation it's only 26 it means short term oriented they take quick decision don't take that much time in interesting uh, a person and all 
than 51 uh, for India. India is also, you can say, uh, not a long term, not a short term, because 51 for long term for India and 49 for short term. So it's a balanced approach. Similarly, like for Vietnam, 57 and uh, what you can say, 43, balanced approach. So this is uh, this is one of the model which can help you in in understanding the the cultural differences in in two countries. Let's go to another uh, slide. How uh, what are the terminologies which affect your international business in cross uh, cultural setting, like negotiation, communication, personal style, leadership. Overall organization, religion, needs and wants. These these are the key terms which change when you go from one country to another country, from one culture to another culture. Like religion, I have given you an example how McDonald's uh, change itself. Not selling beef burger here in India because it's again the religious sentiments. Again, the communication is very important. Any one of you know uh, which uh, which language is the most spoken language of the world? Any one of you? Um, English? No. I think I think it's Chinese. Yeah. It is Mandarin Chinese. If if you see the most spoken is, is spoken language of the world is Mandarin Chinese. So uh, at the same time, Chinese is the most populated country as well. Uh, one can one can say uh, it strikes to my mind also. Like I've been studied in India and abroad, English should be the most spoken language. But but why not English? Because when when you go for a business in China or when a Chinese go somewhere, like like there were many Chinese students studying with us uh, with with me and my uh, university college Dublin, and I also share with you the experience of uh, how cultural differences affected us in incoming slides. There were many Chinese students who were studying with us, but but they they were only, you know, English, they were only just keeping it till the lecture, recording the lectures, listening that lecture, but they were not adapting uh, English as 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 their prime language. Same is the business with the businessmen. Whosoever businessmen go there in uh, in China, uh, they, they have to adopt themselves uh, as per Chinese uh, language, Chinese culture. They clearly say uh, to the businesses, OK, we will not uh, we will not adopt uh, English. You have to adopt uh, Mandarin Chinese. So that's why they, they, they are going ahead with, with their own uh, own language, own communication. If, if I if I talk about India and uh, uh, the national language of India is Hindi, but uh, but when we when somebody come here or when we are in any meeting or any formal setup, we use we use English because we had we have adopted that thing. Okay, English is the English is the global business language, but Chinese haven't adopted that. They they said okay, English may can be a global business language, but for us the language is Mandarin Chinese. Same uh, this so when you, when you go from one culture to another culture, what thing change? Uh, the communication affects a lot. And then there is a negotiation style. As I was showing it to you, there is a long term orientation. There is a short term orientation. So what type of orientation you have? If you are long term oriented, then you will you will take time in negotiation. If you are short term oriented, then you will take much lesser time in negotiation. Then you have a personal uh, personality style. In, uh, in certain uh, countries, people are very direct in speaking, passing their uh, remark, passing their judgment and all. But in not, not other countries. I'll show you that for that. Also, there is a model, Hall's model. I'll show it uh, to you in the, in the coming slides. Leadership differences are there. Politics is uh, directly affecting the leadership. Like like in India, the leadership is uh, the politics is democratic. So the so the leadership is very much what you can say participative. 
in countries like uh, like like in china if i say the, the communist culture is there so the leadership is also moderated as as per that 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 the country's politics so what type of uh, you know leadership approach you are following is it a top down approach or is it a bottom up approach it entirely depends on you then there are how culture influence international business then i'll share with you my experience also let's see to this uh, this blog i have how culture is affecting negotiations people from different places can have varying approaches to negotiation and discussions to resolve problems for example some cultures find it more appropriate to be direct and get straight to the point about what they need whereas other prefer to treat the subject more delicately the first person could come across as 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 rude and confrontational whereas the second person could uh, seem overly cautious this is one of the reason why agendas are very important for meeting for few people agendas are very important negotiations differ uh, in different cultures as it is saying few people are very straight in talking then there is organizational culture business is done differently in different parts of the world with varying levels of emphasis put on the things like dress code uh, time keeping hierarchy some, in some offices colleagues will refer to each other informally wear jeans and take lot of breaks but in others like people wear suits and all punctual then there is time differences like today we are sitting Uh, you you guys uh, have a uh, have a time around like uh, uh, like 10 am but i have a time around like 8 am not uh, two two hours uh, we uh, uh, india is lagging of vietnam time and when i when i was in uh, dublin like if it is 8 am in the, in in my country india then probably uh, there is like around uh, 4 am or something like that 3:30 in in dublin so timing difference is there and at as per timing difference you need to you need to <coughs> answer the call answer the emails and all then uh, on what solutions you are working now i'll i'll tell you uh, my experience as it is mentioned in the slide my study at university college dublin how that cultural differences affected my student life when uh, when we were studying in uh, in dublin we have uh, many assignments like few assignments you have to do in uh, one group like uh, <coughs> in one assignment um, i was with me she's from vietnam there were few assignments in which i was working with the students excuse me guys just taking some water okay in uh, in few assignments i was working with the uh, a few students from uh, us uh, one or two from us one or two from dublin so it was a mix of group from dublin from ireland from us and uh, from france uh, and germany and india so how cultural differences actually affecting our group work. like we we have to do group projects together so for when we were uh, calling the meeting and we were saying okay we will meet together person uh, like uh, from uh all and they were uh, like if i have given a time we have set up a time like 3 uh, 3 in the evening 3 afternoon sorry so uh, person from dublin they, they'll come up with a cup of coffee or something like that and they, they'll join around like 3:15 or so 15 minutes past uh, 3 and uh, like i'm from india <laughs> other person from india i i like to be punctual so i uh, was joining at 3 another person from india joining at 3:10 uh somebody coming from germany they are very very up to the uh, mark punctual joining at 5 uh, minutes before meeting 255 so so that's what i've seen the cultural difference i practically observed it and faced it like, okay uh, how how they set up timing and when we have to deliver tasks together like we have a 5000 towards assignment or any report which we are working on germans are very very much up to the like uh, whatever time we have set in group work they they are delivering to that time other person are uh, are not taking that much uh, you know uh, thing that much seriously okay they they are also delivering but as per their convenience 
similarly when when you are discussing about group project in in a in a group setting few people were more participative few people say okay whatever you are doing is is good few people were only uh, only listening things not not commenting anything and few uh, even not uh, not bother of listening they were busy with their eye uh, with their eye uh, with their phones and all okay whatever you are doing we 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 are agree with it so this this is this is what i have seen during my student life uh, when when uh, when people from different different culture work together they, you know what what you have to manage as a global leader when you will handle multicultural team you have to manage the attitude of the people man management is the most important task if you can understand uh, man management you you will become a, a very successful global leader and uh, you know in recent years 5 10 years there is there is a terminology is going around and the terminology is is emotional intelligence is required to become a global leader emotional intelligence means understanding the emotions beliefs of others seeing yourself in the in the in the feet of others so that's what it is if you are emotionally intelligent you can run through your team take it to the another level of success then there is a whole framework which i was talking to you like this is another uh, you know model to understand the cultural differences certain countries are low context culture highly individualistic certain countries are high context culture they are collectivism they have uh, following the collectivist countries so high context like india china so in low context culture people talk in explicit manner focused on requirement avoid merging of issues very precise very punctual in in high context they are implicit in manner high commitment to long term relationship they merge with each other well not kept separate relaxed about time now uh, there is a arrow which which which, which we will, will show you which countries are high context which countries are low context so countries like germany united state uk these are low context cultures france italy italy spain is coming in between not high context not low context countries like uh, you can say china west africa india these are high context culture so 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 there is a difference exists <clears throat> like in our culture in indian culture if we have to say no to someone uh, if we don't want to give something to someone it's hard for us we, we probably we don't know that art we are not that that much bold enough to say no same thing happen in business we take too much of time in negotiation and all while if you are in in a country like us uk if you have to say no to somebody you can straight away ask okay i am not agree with it so if if you are not satisfied with something if you are not uh, going ahead with certain talks you can straight away say okay it doesn't matter to us another uh, example of technological uh, of uh, cultural differences which i can give it to you like technological platforms banned in china which technological platforms are banned in china like facebook youtube google twitter whatsapp instagram reddit most of the technological platform which the world is using the china is not using they have a censorship over them they have their own uh, social media like weibo wechat for google they have baidu so again you you can see a difference of uh, you know uh, culture and how it is affecting the international business from the day one you can become born global then when you are introducing something introducing some of your product or service you can become born global by by uh, you know by putting that product or service on facebook instagram linkedin because people are seeing it around the world but if china banned those things censored those thing how the people of that country will see to that thing again they they are very much you know uh, pro to their cultural values they say if if you want to be in china you have to you have to uh, you know 
go ahead with our own social media sites at all. Even if your product is born global from the day one, it it will hardly reach China because those those platforms are not working. So again, is a problem uh, for a, for an international businessman. Again, a problem exists for him or her. How to take it forward? Then, if uh, like around the world, the most prominent search engine is Google, but uh, uh, not in China. Most prominent search engine is there is Baidu. Again, there is a cultural difference. I'm not saying people are not using Google in in China. There are people from you know uh, you know high uh, higher uh, uh, higher income group. They are using Google and all. But mainly the uh, the population, like most common population, is using Baidu and all. I I want to discuss with you uh, a brand failure. As I'm running a little bit short of time, so discussing with you one case of joint venture. It it why it failed. If I go on this link, Volkswagen and Suzuki. You can see the presentation here. It's, it's just opening. They have a joint venture, but it got failed. So if we quickly run through this case based on off street dimension, what happened between those these two companies? One is from Germany, one another one is from Japan. So both companies could not reach an agreement. Suzuki claimed VW did not give its access to hybrid technology as promised. VW accused Suzuki of violating the agreement by procuring diesel uh, engine from uh, Fiat. The partnership further soared due to cultural differences and failed joint business proposals. So what were the reasons? If we study it through Hofstede, what were the reason? Hofstede analysis, two countries, two companies from two countries, Japan and Germany. So power distance, Germany is 35, Japanese is 54. So Japanese were expecting, okay, Germans will also go as per their culture when it comes to power distance. Okay, they will follow whatever the boss is, or whatever the seniors are saying, they will, they will, you know, respect it more. But uh, things were not the uh, same with, with, the, with the German culture. So that thing, uh, there was a there was a clash between them. Uh, like certain things they were saying to share. Germans were saying to share because they were very open to it. But uh, like hybrid technologies and all. But Japanese were not very open to it. Thus, uh, VW thought Suzuki was making decision too slowly. So German was uh, thinking that Suzuki was because there was power distance. So German, so Japanese were taking their time. But VW thinks, OK, they, they are too slow in their power decision making. So, uh, so that's how the cultural difference affected them. Individualism, Germany 66, 67, Japan is uh, 46. So uh, Germany is an individualistic country. That's why the decision making is also fast. It's not the case with, with, uh, with the Japanese. So Suzuki thought VW has high handed means they, they're thinking, OK, uh, uh, VW is only thinking about themselves. They're not thinking about all. So so that was the reason. Then masculinity, German 66, Japanese 95. So there is not much difference because both are inclined towards masculinity. More than 50 score for both. But Japanese are more inclined, 95. Uncertainty avoidance again, both are inclined towards it. Long term orientation, they will Japanese, German, both 83, 88. 
indulgence is also not a problem so what is the analysis the problem was that the two companies didn't work hard enough to understand that they are working with very contrasting uh, contrasting cultures one is having high power distance another one is having low power distance one is having you know what you can say uh, individualistic another one is collectivistic so so they didn't realize that they have a they have a uh, they have a uh, large gap in their you know uh, culture culture if they, if they would have realized that thing it would have been an easy affair for them and then uh, industry analysis suggests that there is no need for vw to sell its stakes in suzuki the stakes could prevent other competitors from taking over analysis suzuki expected way too much from vw but still uh, needed more training on cooperation again what is the what is the dilemma both were expecting this and that from each other but both were not able to go ahead this this uh, the age of this joint venture was hardly 2 years they have they have come up on the on the global front together okay they will they will do something they'll do something together but but they were not able to continue with each other because of different cultural values so so my suggestion for both of them before uh, going ahead with their uh, with their uh, you know with their uh, joint venture they should have some uh, cultural training that cultural training would have helped them in understanding the cultural differences this this is one one more case like uh, if you see inside mcdonald's vikram bakshi controversy vikram bakshi uh, was once in a joint venture with uh, with mcdonald outlets in india <clears throat> but but uh, that thing uh, didn't uh, get along well because of the cultural differences what mcd was expecting the vikram batra vikram bakshi was not expecting that thing mcd was uh, coming from some uh, uk background and uh, you know uh, vikram batra was was from indian background if if you see this this story it will it will show you uh, one more thing i want to show it to you brands failure top brands failure due to cultural differences Uh, which top brands have failed? Groupon failed due to cultural differences. Foster's failed. Foster's in the Australia beer brand company tendered Vietnam market in 1998 in your market and uh, sold beer under the tagline the Australian style beer. It failed to capture the Vietnamese market because of its positioning. Positioning they they are using the word Australian styled, so people in Vietnam probably didn't didn't like it. for taking it uh, brand global at the three elements of internal analysis are important organization brand expression and marketing foster's brand strategy needed to be ready to take the glo- brand global often the business strategy is uh, rooted in the organization home market so foster's tried to replicate the consumer experience of australian style beer in vietnam and failed in the initial stages then there is walmart Walmart has uh, made its entrance into num- a numerous of foreign market but was unable to replicate its original success in some places because of the absence of fine tuning the shopping experience depending on the local culture in that place by Walmart was the root cause of the problem for example in south korea the company didn't understand the local preferences of buying small packages at local stores and the preference among shoppers changed according to new york times then there is a failure of uh, ssr home depot coca cola the latest coca cola ad campaign share a coke is all about sharing your favorite drink with your loved ones so this this brand also faced some uh, criticism in israel metal tesco dunkin donuts ebay all all the brands have faced the fire of cultural differences 
and and that cultural differences have affected them to to a large extent so you all have understood this thing i am getting back to towards the end of my session you all have uh, heard about it and worked on the pastel analysis till now political factors economical factors social factors technological factors legal factors environmental factors so when you go from one country to another country from one culture to another culture all these factors change and due to that your international business has been affected politics change going from india to some other country probably the political scenario will not be the same economics change people paying capacity change social factors needs and wants communication language religion everything change technology adoption change i have given you the example as well like in china most of the things are banned censored they have their own uh, social media and all legal things change environmental concerns change so how that's how it it affect your international business i have written n number of you know articles and papers on usage of technology and all like this is a my google scholar account and this is my research gate account and in my google scholar you will you will find is uh, just go through this like xiaomi's journey in india you will find how how cultural differences affected xiaomi in india and then there is about a technological uh, adoption also so you can you can study those papers also how technology change from one culture to another this is my research gate profile so you can you can see my papers here also okay so i am reaching towards closer of this session uh that's all from my side if anyone wants to ask anything you can hi um so i my name is chan thao i'm sorry i went a mess because i had some problem with my skin so never mind it um first of all i want to thank you for your attendance to our class today and um um I, your example is very real, realistic, and you provide so many useful information, and I appreciate that. Uh, I have some questions for you. Okay. Um, yeah, as you know, in, uh, in our country in Vietnam, we have so many like uh, fast foods, uh, food streets, and they are awesome. They're so good. And um, do you think about McDonald's and uh, Starbucks in Vietnam? um like how do you evolve uh, air elevate they are com uh, the competition in um of suffering when they come into the uh, vietnamese market do they success or failure and should they change their approach plans and um, how do you apply the half step research in it in this case I'm I'm uh, sorry I'm not able to understand your question properly probably probably your voice is breaking uh, you know uh, the internet uh, if if I, my you can tell me what what she, she want to ask she want to ask something something related to difference in culture how it will affect in vietnam ima that that's i got <laughs> but what she want to ask actually i i can write down it in the box yeah 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 if you can write it down then then it will be good for yeah yeah thank you So I think that if any student want to have a question for Anush, please type. You can please type it up so that I can read it and I can answer you. Okay, just wait for a moment, okay? So everyone, I just want to ask my students if they have to leave after ten. Everyone, everyone, free after ten, right? I'm I'm waiting for your messages, so I will reply your messages once I will get the questions. Can I you have the question in the box chat? In the box chat. Okay. Let me see. Uh, in the box chat where the uh, last is. Okay. Cultural norm and value system in one nation 
evolve all this time what solution about is is it your question i don't think it is 816 written uh, your question will be somewhere like 830 I guess I didn't get your question. I love to enjoy this moment. Uh, what a useful website! I'm just these messages. Uh, I didn't get your question. Things as one of my students have a question for you. Three, the last one. She means as like in one nation, you know mm -hmm. that value system are not the static. Static, you know, it changed. It changed the value system in the culture. Uh, one, one, one minute, my there is one question, and it turned up like she was asking. Starbucks has many duplication by Chinese in China. so why they still has uh, their own success okay starbucks you can say that thing okay starbucks has many duplication uh, by by uh, okay and uh, we we also say in india like chinese are very good in duplication and all but still <laughs> you know still why Ch uh, starbucks is successful uh, you have n number of duplication you know i can give you one example many people say is xiaomi redmi is the apple of china it is they also consider it, it as a duplication of apple only okay you can have n number of duplication but when it comes to brand value when it comes to taste the original taste can only be delivered with the with the parent company duplication can never give you that 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 uh, uh, that value that satisfaction to the consumer you yourself answered your question it's a duplication if 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 i try to copy you i can never be 100% of you so duplication uh, th there is no restriction on duplication there is a uh, in the in the internet world the privacy is uh, piracy is going on people are making uh, series pirated movies and but duplication can never be a a, a replacement temporary solution so uh, duplication at its own uh, uh, at its own pace it's going around but when it's come to brand value no one no one can uh, replace starbucks brand value starbucks originality uh, starbucks thinking so duplication cannot do that the duplication can only do that thing what starbucks have already done what starbucks is planning to do in future they don't know because they will do duplication once the starbucks will do that thing So, so that's my reply to your question. Anyone else? I'm waiting uh, for your questions. Another question on the chat box, Anush. Yeah. That's This question I have answered. Starbucks can I have another question. Not the the other one from another student. Cultural norms and value system in one nation evolves all the time. Pollution mm -hmm. for change seek and adapt and change. Look, uh, cultural uh, norms and value system. These uh, one can say these are not static things. Cultural norms and value system. Uh, I say like as one generation pass, the cultural norms and value system also. change to so, uh, to an extent it is static uh, for a, for a generation like whatever things matter for me doesn't matter in the same manner for my parents it will not matter in the same manner for my upcoming generation to an extent it is static cultural norms and values for for a generation but it will change when the generation will change it is also dynamic so what what solutions tncs can take the solution is that they need to keep analyzing the behavior like like many many of them do uh, they uh, they can take uh, they can effectively use the technologies and all uh, like a prime example which i can give you cultural norms and value system many value systems have changed during during this time period of covid 19 people people are you know uh, people are saying okay uh, if we have a good food and good health is our priority 
it was not a priority two years ago good health but now we all are working who, who who have thought about it that we will be taking session through microsoft team like two years ago or so this is this is also this is also an example how how the culture is adopting the things so we we need to be uh, at the same, uh, we need to be uh, uh, what you can say we need to uh, think from the futuristic uh, uh, vision what what things can change like like i i can give you an example from like i am uh, writing many of papers on technology technology 4.0 like artificial intelligence robotics drone and technology 5.0 will be the future if if the companies will adopt them they will become successful this is this is the future in in any field these technologies will make a turn around either it is education it is healthcare or it may be any field so you have to be on your toes uh, let me read another question in vietnam we have so many good food street okay how do we how do evaluate the competition of famous fast food brand like macdies or starbucks when they approach is in in the vietnamese market okay did they failure or success should they change their approach plans how do uh, okay how do uh, you apply the hofstede research in this case okay hofstede research if you say if you are if you are saying hofstede research one uh, example of hofstede research is here like uh, you are saying like power distance at all power distance uh, in vietnam i i'll go into your half state culture, uh, country comparison and long term orientation if i see the long term orientation score of vietnamese is 57 so it means vietnamese also take time interesting a brand not like chinese chinese have 87 but vietnamese have 57 you are saying you have good food street uh, good uh, food uh, food on the streets and all but when it comes to branding when, you know uh, when you are a student you will like to enjoy our stuff on on a street food and all it happens to me as well but today when when i'm going with my official colleague going for official meeting i i'll not uh, go for a street food one and all do i like it because for a official meeting for a official uh, uh, we want to you know as we as we grow up in life as our Uh, purchasing capacity change we want to change our uh, you know choices also obviously our i like to sit on a starbucks if if you if we are calling someone for uh, for a official meeting and all so so as you grow in career as you grow in a life as you grow in purchasing power so the consumers also change in today's time you are saying okay uh, i have good food uh, good street food but tomorrow when you will grow you will not uh, like to sit sit there or not like to enjoy with your official colleagues there you have formal meetings and all so every every brand has its own market you know uh, starbucks is uh, not giving access to everyone starbucks has its own uh, uh, target segment they will keep targeting that seg uh, segment either it vietnamese market or it is chinese market or it is indian market so their success or failure does not depend they, they are not competing understood uh, please understand they are not competing with the street food they are competing with the brands and they will give you that brand value okay, you are taking you are talking about street food can street food give you that that ambience can street food give you that internet connectivity can street food give you that that sitting space i don't think they can so everyone has his own uh, a brand as its own approach and they they go uh, they go as per that no doubt vietnamese have uh, uh, hofstede if i uh, talk about long term orientation so they will take time interesting uh, starbucks or interesting macdies in comparison if they have their own brand in that category so that's 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 my answer to you another question is with macdi they try to make their food suitable for all the cultures okay but not all the foods got positive comments so do you think they should focus on one type of fast yeah th this is uh, this is not only with macdi this is with us also if if i say in from my perspective i am a professor 
if I'm teaching like 60 students, like I've taken a session today, how many students are there? Like more than 30 students. I don't think like I will be able to satisfy all the 30 students in my session uh, equally. Similarly, all the product categories cannot uh, like I, I don't like uh, uh, all the stuff at Macdis. I don't like all the stuff at uh, at uh, Domino's. So that, that's why they, they the brands offer you variety. Na? Not yes, you are true. Not all the food will get positive comments. So what they have to do, they have to keep exploring. Keep coming with the new products. Like like in the countries like India and China, big market. India has a, you know, uh, like 27 languages, different types of religion, different states. So you will you will find your target audience. There is a, there is a there is a there is a chance that some food will be liked in South India, not liked in North India. Some food will be liked in East India, not liked in West India. So you need to choose your audience very well. Like I told you, MACD have introduced uh, uh, what you can say dosa burger in India, and dosa burger is mainly for South Indian. I never tested it, never tried it. It doesn't mean that a product is failure. They have something in mind. They have uh, introduced that product only for South Indian in in their mind. So, so my 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 answer for your question is that they have to keep exploring the new things. As I said, you the consumer is dynamic in nature. You need to understand the consumer psyche. You are the consumers, and this consumer is a smartphone generation based consumer. They change very uh, you know in a moment. On your mobile phone, you see different things. Within a second, you can shop from USA. Within a second, you can shop from UK. If if I if I talk about clothing and all, you have too many choices. So the company need to be very very dynamic. Keep keep exploring. India is a country. Uh, somebody has written India is a country with a different culture than the rest of the. It can be said that it is a, has a very specific culture. So how can foreign businesses, especially Western ones, enter and want to do business? Look, India is a country with a with a diverse culture. As I said, you as you have written, still many foreign businesses have uh, tasted good good amount of success in India because diversity is also giving you uh, an option to perform. Look, if, if you introduce some product in China, similar homogeneous market, either everyone will like it or everyone will dislike it. But in India, you have chance like in some reason, few people will not like it. But in some reason, there is a chance somebody else will like it. So when when you have a diversity, na, you have challenges as well as, as well as opportunities. Foreign foreign uh, businesses are doing good in India because because of the variety. Different types of purchasing power of the people, different types of choices. So you have different type of segment. If you know how to target well, you you will be successful. Then another question is coming to me. While geographic segments, uh, demographics and behaviors are very important, MACD didn't understand uh, underestimate the power of psychology. With psychology segments, MACD uh, classifies buyers based on psychology and personality characteristics, lifestyles or personality value. MACD served for the convenience and lifestyle of consumer. For India, how did MACD enrolled in the market? Uh, in the same way as, as you have written, they, they understood the lifestyle, they understood the taste and preferences of the people. And that, that's how they have explored themselves. You, you, you see, uh, if if I give you an example, in the in the non veg segment, they are not very much exper experimentative, experimentative in India. In the veg segment, they are much more experimentative. So they, they are understanding na, what what uh, what what is the taste, what is the psyche of people. So where to experiment, where to do new innovation, it it also matters. You have to do new innovations in in a field where where people will accept it. So, so that's what I see the the success ladder of uh, of of MACD. They are understanding the purchasing uh, power of the people. They are understanding how how the dynamics are changing. How what what the new generation want, and they knew it because the barista is from the new generation. Of, if you see the barista, that's the workers working in 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 MACD. They are all uh, uh, new new generation uh, students or uh, like that. So they got inputs from their own staff as well. What, what, the, what the people want. So that's how uh, they are changing. Okay, another question is written in 
in Vietnamese language, I guess I, I didn't understand it uh, because uh, okay. Okay, anyone wants to ask anything else, you can ask me. Uh, liking the audience so much and um, i think that my students have a lot of patience for this i'm sure that if we have more time discussing about this one because it's really interesting topic and i know that you have a lot of history and we like eager to know more about india i'm sure that that i think that the time is run out we run out of time now and my students have to leave for another class yes 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 so, i'm sorry about that but we would love to invite you another time it's not yes. just my students, but my colleagues. Okay, so I thank okay. you are willing to share with us. I I have one one request from your students. I'm just uh, paste pasting a link of feedback. Can sure. you all all fill this feedback form? So don't worry, I we're saying it to my students. And okay, everyone, please have Anush to bring your feedback into this link. Okay, everyone, please. Name of the speaker is Anuj Kumar, and uh, you all can fill your answers. I will be thankful to you, and thank you for your patient listening. I've enjoyed the session early in the morning. It charged me up for okay. the whole day. <laughs> thank we you, Mai. Thank you so much, Anuj, and we hope that we will have more collaboration activity in the future. Okay. Yes, I'm looking forward for a collaborative uh, certificate between your college and our college so that so that actually we can learn the different different culture that's how we learn exactly so thank you so much for today so okay uh, i'll wait for your uh, feedbacks all of you thank you okay. thank you very much once again and uh, my please share the recording so that mm -hmm. we can put it on uh, youtube and all okay thank you thanks all thank you for your time so bye yeah bye, bye, -bye. Ok, à, xin chào các bạn nhé. Cảm ơn các bạn đã tham gia hôm nay rất là nhiệt tình và hẹn gặp lại các bạn vào tuần sau nhé. Bye bye cả lớp. Em chào, em chào cô ạ. Ok, chào các em nhé. Bye bye.